Jennifer Hudson broke through in 2006 after her role in the movie Dream Girls, and she has a new significant role in The Secret Life of Bees, which opens this weekend. The former American Idol finalist plays Rosaline, the caretaker of Lily Owens, played by Dakota Fanning. When the family of Fanning's character falls apart due to problems caused by her mother's death, Hudson's character takes her back to a town that holds the secret to her mother's past. Hudson takes Fanning to the Boatwright family, and Hudson said she admired them and their characters on and off the screen. I have wanted to work with Alicia so bad, and of course Queen Latifah and Sophie, watching her work and how she, oh, all you can see, just, just, she inspires me every day, all day. All of them do. And you know, everybody is, it's like on one accord. It's like sisterhood, for real. In front of the cameras, behind the cameras, on, off, it don't matter. It's just, it, it feels good to have that around. And everybody, we're here for the same reason, the same purpose. And, uh, and we watch each other do whatever's necessary to make this film what it should be. And their strength inspires me every day, all day. She added that singing actually helps her acting. You're acting when you're singing, too, because you have to portray that song. At least I try to. And it helps me even connect to emotion better when I'm, I'm, I'm doing the scene or I'm trying to attach myself to a certain emotion, okay? We'll listen to a song that represents that emotion or that is that emotion and then it just comes out. Music is changing to me and it's forming and, and it just changes my mood. If you play a happy song, I'm instantly happy. If you play a sad one, then I'm instantly sad. So it's, it's definitely direction and it's a lot of us walking around here with headphones listening to music. That's just helping, I guess, helping. I know it helps me connect to my character. Hudson was also recently in the film Tyler Perry's The Family That Prays. She also released her first album since being voted off American Idol four years ago. The self-titled effort debuted earlier this month at number two on the Billboard 200 album chart. Yes, it was. Ah! I'm unlovable. You listen to me now. There's love all around you. Say it's all right. That wasn't your fault. Yes, it was.